hello everyone and welcome to satin flower making by janis creative flowers this is tutorial 5 and we are going to learn how to arrange flowers into groom's button ear yeah so now we are going to see how to um, arrange uh, flowers for groom's button ear yeah so first we will see the materials required i have a calla flower here this is ready made then I have a petal rose this is made by me so if you want to learn how to make this rose go through my tutorial on how to make petal rose then I have here two FMN flowers again if you want to learn go through my tutorials on forget me not flowers a leaf again you can go through my tutorial to learn how to make this then I have few pearls I have uh, inserted wire into the pearl and just wrap the green tape some artificial decorative material then some cara, cala, little cala flowers ready made a safety pin a thread to tie the flowers green floral tape and uh, this satin the, this is not satin this is a shimmery uh, ribbon which is for to tie the bow and this is satin ribbon for uh, yeah this is the roll of satin ribbon for uh, coating okay so now we will see yeah i need uh, yeah a pair of scissors a plier and a little pearl okay so now let us start Okay, first take the calla flower and then a rose, place it here like this. Now I don't want such a big uh, calla stick, so I am going to cut it here. And then the white rose and here you have to tie it to uh, keep it firm Tie the knot, maybe two knots, and then cut the wire. So, whenever you tie uh, the uh, tie with the thread, it's a good idea to wrap the uh, wrap that place with the green tape because uh, if the white thread becomes visible, that doesn't look good. Yeah, it is uh, the finishing doesn't look good so it looks like this now I'm using FMN flowers one to this side like this again use the thread and tie it another FMN flower to the another side like this and yeah 
tie the flowers so that they can stand in place. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Tie the knot. Wrap it with the green tape. All the white thread should be covered. Yeah, it looks like this now. Hmm? Yeah. Looks like this. Now I'm going to arrange this leaf here next to Kala. Again tie tie the knot you have to tie a you have to make a big circle to tie the knot because all flowers should be covered and yeah if there are any extra wires which are hampering your work just cut them off Now your flower looks like this. Okay. Now uh, I have two lilies made. Place them over here um, on the green leaf, like this. And then one pearl I'm going to place near that, and one decorative material. And I'm going to tie everything together. If the um, flower bunch is very big, you can apply, you can tie a knot from the, the, uh, the stem side also. This is also correct. Yeah. If it is uncomfortable to tie a big knot covering all the flowers, tie it from the stem side. Yeah. Again, wrap it. Mm -hmm. Your flower is looking like this now. I have two pearls here. Yeah, I want to use them. Again same, if you are comfortable to hold, you don't need to tie it, yeah, if you are comfortable to hold, then just wrap it with the green tape, okay. Now I am, I am done arranging the flowers, the flowers, so what I am going to do is, I am going to cut the all extra wires, 
I don't want this. Yeah. And I'm going to cover everything with the green tape. This much I did. Now comes the second step. Yeah. Again. More you wrap the green tape that makes the flower firm. Tie the safety pin like this and wrap it. okay so that was my son <laughs> please excuse okay so my flower my flower is ready it looks like this I'll place it here and um, yeah the next step is the wrapping this uh, the uh, satin ribbon to the stem and then tying a bow okay so now we will see how to tie a bow take a shimmery uh, ribbon or any ribbon it's like just i'm teaching you how to i am using the shimmery one okay place it on your hand spread spread the fingers and see one like this and like this i'll teach you once again see start from here four fingers one two three four thumb here on the finger and then hold it like this take one round and one two three yeah three how many ever you want it's up to you and then i cut this ribbon mm -hmm. what you do is insert it here in the beginning in the yeah before the first loop like this and here and tight so this is your bow one two three one two three your bow. it looks like this okay so my okay I have a glue gun here which I have already kept for heating so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap my satin ribbon okay I'll cut my ribbon um, to this much of length and I will start wrapping it take your glue gun start from here One more round. Wrap it like this. Mm -hmm. 
wherever you feel apply the glue it should not loosen up or loosen out yeah i am done now here what you have to do is to completely cover it this green stem should not be visible and always yeah, there is a chance that it always opens up in the end so what you have to do is once you are confirmed that now stem is not visible to the back side of the flower you have to do the give the finishing that should should not be visible on the front side apply glue to it and give the finishing yeah hmm. so front it's all soft now the bow which is ready i have a bow here which is all ready to tie uh -huh. same hold it for um, some 10 seconds so that it can stick properly now this this is too big the tails i don't want that big so i'm going to cut them to equal length Now I have a little pearl, apply glue and place it on the bow. Yeah, there we go. So I'll keep everything aside and I'll see our final product. We'll see the final product, how it looks the groom's button here here we go yeah Thank you for watching so if you like my uh, work uh, the flowers and the flower making process please subscribe to my channel I am um, happy if you give a like and if you have any questions or would like to um, give some comments uh, you are free to put your comments in the comment uh, section and if you would like to share it that is well and good thank you everyone